bodies returned to British soil, those of two men killed in action in Afghanistan. The highest-ranking officer to die in the conflict zone, Lieutenant Colonel Rupert Thornelow, the CO of the 1st Battalion Welsh Guard, and Trooper Joshua Hammond of the 2nd Royal Tank Regiment, both killed in an explosion last week. Flown into RAF Lineham in Wiltshire, a private ceremony for close relatives, and then a procession in the nearby town of Wooden Bassett. The centre coming to a standstill, residents, shopkeepers, veterans and current soldiers together in remembrance. Because I think we should show respect to the chaps that's out there, whether you agree with the war or not, we've got to respect the, the services that are out there. And it's the thing I want to do. Lieutenant Colonel Rupert Thornelow died when a blast hit his Viking armoured vehicle. The head of the army, General Sir Richard Dannett, was a close friend. The commanding officer is the father of his family, of his regimental family, and as head of the army, um, I talk to all commanding officers regularly, so therefore it's right that on this particular day I come to acknowledge and salute a commanding officer coming. I can't come every time, but I certainly can come and would come if ever, heaven forbid, another commanding officer was to be a casualty as well. Wooten Bassett bears this task every time a soldier dies. Bodies pass through here in coffins draped with the Union Jack flag. Locals say it's important to maintain the tradition and a sense of pride. Very important, very important, because without them, where would we be? They're giving their lives. It's important to be here because the British public should should realise just how important what, what job is doing in um, Afghanistan and Iraq and that. So I think it's very important that we should pay our respects to the people that lose their lives and come through here. Probably more intense the more it happens, because it's just such a waste of life all the time, isn't it? And I think they should bring all the boys back home, personally. But as they remember these dead, there has been another bloody weekend in Afghanistan. 29-year-old Lance Corporal David Dennis of the Light Dragoons on the left and 18-year-old Private Robert Laws of 2nd Battalion, the Mercian Regiment, killed in separate attacks in Helmand Province on Saturday. They were taking part in Operation Panther's Claw to improve security ahead of the August presidential election. Another soldier from the 1st Battalion Welsh Guards was killed near Goreshk in central Helmand. There has been talk about whether there is a need for more equipment. The trouble is you can't just flick a switch. There isn't a big warehouse of armoured vehicles which we can go and say we'll have 300 of those. Industry's got to build them, we've got to integrate our um, radios and other bits of equipment into them and flow them out to the front line as quickly as we can. And we're doing it as quickly as we can. I wish we could do it quicker. The number killed in operations in Afghanistan since October 2001 now stands at 174.